Hello, Ryan Matt Borden here, aka Loopline. In this video, I'm going to cover how to download images from a list of URLs. So I've got 14 URLs here. I've got a folder that is empty here. And we're going to go ahead and go to grab check, grab images from harvested URL list. And I'm just going to start it up, let it run. We can see it gets a count of images. And this is how much process it is. And then some statuses. And then um, when it's done, here we can go back to our folder and see that we have lots of images. This is just images from cars because I had car websites in here. So whatever happened to be related to cars, different cars, schematics. Uh, I think there will probably be logos in here because I saw those on the websites for the different car brands and that sort of thing. And so we have JPEGs and TIFFs and BMPs and different image formats based on whatever we select, which we'll look at just a second in the settings and so on. So if we go in here to settings, we can see that we have different options. We can select as far as what kind of images we want to get, resizing options, options that let us filter to not grab above or below a certain size, the folder where we get to save the images. This is a prefix for the file name itself. And so I can also use the image as the file name. And then I can have a folder created based on the domain. So like I could have all the images from cars.com in its own folder and then this domain in its own folder and then URLs as well folders if I had a lot of URLs from the same domain and I want to keep each URL separate and then I have conversion options so we can convert all the images to one particular format and then this is just the number of connections to run at once and so I also have export options which let me export both successful and failed URLs this is not exporting the images those are auto saved here this is exporting this data for URLs based on um, accessed URLs and downloaded images and so on and so forth through both failed and successful. And so that is how you can download images from a list of URLs using Scrapebox. If you don't have Scrapebox, click the link up here now or go to scrapebox.com and you can roll down here and pick up your copy. And if you miss it, it's in the video description down below. Thanks for watching this Scrapebox video. For more Scrapebox videos, click the subscribe button down below and then click the bell. And then check out these other great Scrapebox videos.